I'm Nick Collin, the principal conductor of Aurora Orchestra, and we're here at LSO Luke's for a concert today which we've called Jitterbug. And this is a collaboration between Aurora and Man Overboard, a jazz swing band. And we have in common the uh, violinist Thomas Gould, who's Aurora's leader and who's also the violinist of Man Overboard. We've come up with an amazing, quite eclectic program uh, which sort of explores music in swing and music that um, travels across the Atlantic between America and the European continent. Working with the Aurora has been absolutely brilliant. They're, they're so welcoming, so easygoing. They're all fantastic musicians, of course, um, but very much with their feet on the ground. I suppose on the face of it, some of this music uh, seems to be a, an unusual juxtaposition. There's um, French Baroque in the shape of Rameau's suite from Les and Gallant. Stravinsky himself moved from Paris as a Russian émigré over to America in the 30s and there he's sort of developed his neoclassical style. Dumbarton Oaks is one of the most important pieces that he wrote in this new idiom and shows off also his own love of Baroque music because it was inspired by Bach's Brandenburg concertos which were written at the same time as, as the Rameau itself. Ian Farrington worked closely with members of Man Overboard to create three of these wonderful arrangements of, of songs that they know and well and play well. The major piece in the second half of the programme is a new arrangement of a suite from Gershwin's Porgy and Bess, arranged by our arranger in residency in Farrington. The music is so wonderful, not often heard in the concert hall. It sort of ties back beautifully really to, to the music of um, Man Overboard. And when you can hear someone like Tom playing Summertime, the violin solo in, in the opera, you get a sense of how free and easy it can sound and how vocal it needs to sound. <laughs> 